going to make delicious chicken tikka masala recipe. It is so yummy, so delicious and very easy recipe. It is a roasted chunks of chicken in a spicy sauce. So let's go ahead to learn how to make this delicious recipe. For this recipe I am using chicken tikka kebab. I have a video on how to make chicken tikka kebab at my YouTube channel. You can check it out. And here I am using 1 cup of tomato puree. And here are my dry spices that is half a spoon of coriander powder, half a spoon of garam masala powder and here 1 4 teaspoon of sugar, 1 spoon salt, half a spoon turmeric powder, half a spoon cumin seed powder, 1 spoon red chili powder and 1 bay leaf and here I am using 1 small size onion, 1 spoon of ginger and garlic paste, half a spoon of cumin seeds, here cinnamon and cloves and here green cardamom. In this skillet, I have added 3 spoon of cooking oil. Now I am going to add my green cardamom, cloves, jeera and cinnamon stick, bay leaf and then add onion. Now add pinch of salt. Salt helps to cook onion faster. Now just cook it for a few seconds or until the onion looks translucent. Yes, this is perfect. Now add ginger garlic paste and then turmeric powder into the onion mixture and mix it well. Now I'm going to add my tomato puree into the onion mixture and then add salt and mix it well. Let it cook for 5 to 8 minutes over medium heat. Put the cover and let it cook. After 8 minutes over medium heat, now I am going to add my other dry spices except garam masala. Now mix it well. Again let it cook another 2 to 3 minutes. And put the cover again and let it cook. After 2 minutes, now I am going to add 2 spoon of beaten curd. Or you can use cream to do this. I'll mix it well again. Now I'm going to add my cooked chicken kebabs into the tomato mixer. Now just mix it well. Add 1 cup of water into the mixer. Again mix them well and let it cook for 1 or 2 minutes over medium heat. Yes, this is, looks beautiful and smelling have friendly. Put the cover and let it cook another 2 to 3 minutes. After 2 to 3 minutes, my second tikka masala is done. Now just add the garam masala at the top and they are ready to serve. Just give a mix. Looking really delicious. My second tikka masala is done and just switch up the flame and they are ready to serve. Transfer the second tikka masala into a nice bowl or plate. It's looking really really wonderful and I'm sure the taste will be great. Smelling great. Put some gravy on the top and I'm sure your mouth is watering. Now just garnish with cilantro at the top and they are ready to serve. 
Here is our delicious chicken tikka masala is ready to serve. You can serve this with rice, sapati or any kind of bread that you like. I'm going to serve this with rice today. It's looking so mouth watering. I hope you guys love it. I hope you guys like my today's recipe. If you like this recipe then please click on the like and share button. I love to hear from you so give a comment below the video and I will reply you as soon as possible. If you are first time watching my videos then please subscribe to my channel to get updates of my new upcoming recipes. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care.